Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. How are we getting on? So just a quick one today. It is transfer day for those of us on PC using the Bethesda Net Launcher. The Bethesda Net Launcher will be shutting down in a couple of weeks. It's 11th of May. But we have a couple of weeks now to transfer all of our games over to Steam, which is where we're all going. So uh, let's jump in and have a look at the ins and outs of this and uh, take a look at the process. Okay, so yeah, Bethesda have talked about this for the last few weeks, month or so, that they're going to be doing this, migrating us over to Steam from the Bethesda launcher. Only affects PC players. And uh, long story short, obviously they're closing down the Bethesda launcher. It's closing down on the 11th. So after that date, you won't be able to play your games via that launcher. You'll have to do it via Steam. You'll have to make that transfer. If you do do it in this two-week window from today, that is the 27th of April, then you'll get some extra bonuses, at least in Fallout 76, anyway. So jump on it quick while you can and get the extra rank ups in Fallout 76 in the next season, which is due to start in June. A couple of the big FAQ questions. Obviously, your games will be coming over to Steam. You won't have to pay for new copies or anything like that. It's all free, unsurprisingly. Um, atoms, in-game currencies, in-game items, subscriptions like Fallout First, all of that stuff will be coming across as well. Bethesda have gone overboard on making this as easy as humanly possible, and from my quick look that I've looked at so far, it looks like it's going to be dead easy. So let's jump into this one. Okay, so here we are, Bethesda Net website. So straight up on the front page, we've got the sunsetting, the launcher, and migrating to Steam, which is not the best layout in the world, putting white text on a white background, but anyway. So we'll hit that one straight up. There we go. So we've got an article here and we've got all the FAQ further down the bottom. Here's a whole load of bump on it as well. There's the major FAQ. There's a separate one for Doom Eternal there and there's some other links for Fallout ones and stuff as well. So if you've got questions and stuff, I uh, will link all of this obviously down below the video so you can find it. Uh, do check it out. And when you're done watching this video, you might well check out my stuff. It'll be video that I did earlier today as well. <laughs> wink, wink, nudge, nudge. So... Now able to transfer your Bethesda Net game library to your Steam account. Follow the instructions on the transfer page, link right here, to start your transfer. If at any point you run into issues with the transfer, we encourage you to reach out to customer support by visiting help.bethesda.net. So link there. If you need help in games and anything like that generally, and you need to use their help services, it's the same link, it'll take you to the same place. So uh, useful to kind of know about this one, maybe bookmark it. Something I have done a while ago, <laughs> so always good. And there's a whole new load of entries in the FAQ down below. And there we go, starting on 11th, you'll no longer be able to play your games on the Bethesda launcher, but you'll still be able to access the launcher in your library. It'd be kind of pointless, but you'll be able to. Obviously, if you are transferring over to Steam, you will also need to uh, install your Steam versions of the game. So I'm about to uninstall Fallout 76 and reinstall it via Steam, which is a joyous, uh, time-consuming process, but um, it is what it is. That's somewhat unavoidable, unfortunately. However, let's get on to this, shall we? So there's the transfer page link. Boom. All right, I need to log in, so we'll do that. There we go. And we have the Move Bethesda Net Games to Steam page, and it is dead, dead easy. I've already got my Steam account linked, you can see there. So I can click my Steam profile and double check it. Yep, that's the right one. Uh, I don't know how to get out of this now. <laughs> Hang on. Okay, so that just opened up in a new tab. Fair enough. So that's definitely my right account. If it's the wrong one, you can change it down here as well. If you already have a Steam account for something like, for example, Fallout 76, so you've got characters on Bethesda Net and characters on Steam, or the same will apply to other games as well, you'll need to set up a second Steam account and link to that so that you can make sure you've still got both accounts, otherwise you might have issues. It's all covered in the FAQ, so if that applies to you, check it out down below. Any questions or doubts, in fact, in general, just read the FAQ first. You'll be, you know, less likely to get confused or cause issues or anything like that if you know what you're doing. Dead easy. So, at what were we moved? Games, expansions and other DLC, virtual wallets like atoms, shards, etc, 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 or what will come over. What will not be moved? Local game saves and local configurations. As far as I understand it, this should mean that those will be in the right place when you need them. You might have to do a little bit of configuring your graphic settings or whatever when you dive into the game for the first time through Steam. You're not supposed to have to do that, but you never know. We'll see how it goes. It's not the end of the world if you do. So. Then all we need to do, now that I know everything is right, is hit the Steam Transfer button. Click to confirm. Are you sure you want to transfer your library to this Steam account? Yes, yes I do. Process cannot be cancelled when initiated or undone once completed. This is permanent, so bear that in mind. 
The t after the transfer from your Bethesda Net account to your Steam account is complete, you will no longer be able to access your games on the Bethesda Net launcher. Your games will be available on Steam. Okay, so let's do it. Boom. Transfer in progress. Simple as that. You can leave this page and come back at any time to check the process progress of your Bethesda Net library to your Steam account. Check the transfer process by clicking on Transfer Library under Account. So, there we go. So this shouldn't take too long. On the other hand, all of the social posts have gone up and probably quite a lot of people diving into this. So we'll see how long it actually takes. But uh, if you're doing it a little bit after the fact, sort of later on in this two week window, then you should be absolutely fine or having a bit after that two week window and missing out on the bonuses, but it'll still work. So it is what it is. Then uh, you should actually find it's a bit quicker because you don't have so many people queuing up and using the system. So we'll see how that goes. Yeah, I'm not going to um, sit here for ages and wait for it and show you the whole reinstalling via Steam process of the game because it's basic. It's the same stuff as installing anything by Steam. I'm sure you know what the ins and outs of that are by now. Um, if there are any further issues, I will add an addendum to this video and let you know, or at the very least pin something in the top comment down below the video. So do check that out while you're here. Okay, so just dropping in on the end here, we have a successful transfer over here, which is awesome, everything's gone fine. This really didn't take long, and this is probably around about peak time as well. Um, I didn't actually look at how long it did take, but put it this way, I've got a cup of tea over here that I forgot about, and it hasn't had time to go cold, so take that for what it is. But yeah, we can see we've got all my games have come across, my atoms have come across, so no problems there. Uh, if you need any extra information having done this, like how to transfer local or saved games or configuration settings, there is a link down here that you can use to find the specific game you need and go from there, it'll tell you what's going on. For 76, for example, I just checked that one myself. No action needed is exactly what it says, so nice, in short. And there's a few more bits of information there. And as I say, I've linked down below the uh, FAQs if you want to check those out. So, yeah, pretty good. Pretty happy with that. Really, really easy. Went well. Hope it goes just as well for you guys. As uh, previously mentioned, if it doesn't, hit up Bethesda support. There's a, a link earlier on and you'll find it and linked via the uh, post down below. So do check that one out. So, back to previous me. And yeah, check out my stuff in the video that went up earlier because, uh, yeah, all about the music and that looks really, really cool. So really hyped for that one. But for now, I hope this was useful and informative for you. If you did enjoy the video, please do drop me a sub or a like. I very much appreciate it. Social media links, merch store, channel memberships, all that good stuff down below the video as well. If you want to support the channel that way, I very, very much appreciate it. And do join us for live streams as well. We are, of course, going to be playing Fallout 76, Starfield when the time comes. And we're playing some Mass Effect later on this evening, Mass Effect 3. So that should be good fun. I'm looking forward to that. For now, thank you very much for watching. And I look forward to speaking to you all very, very soon.